Now that we've harvested our skin graft, the donor site should look like this. I cover it with a telfa soaked in lidocaine with epinephrine in order to minimize ongoing bleeding. The skin graft is placed with the epidermis up. You can tell this because this curves down towards the underlying surface. The serrated or rough side of the plastic carrier should be placed towards the skin graft. The skin graft is ensured it is stretched out fully as any wrinkling or rolling of this often can result in transection of certain parts of the graft. Meshing really accomplishes two goals. The first is that it increases the surface area of the graft and the second is that it decreases the risk of a hematoma under the graft which would lead to eventual necrosis. The skin graft and tray are loaded into the mesher as shown here. This is a manual unit and as we pull on the handle this advances the tray into the blades of the mesher. As we get to the end of the tray, we notice that there is extra skin graft still hanging off the end. You can use a second tray as a carrier to facilitate safe passage of this through the mesher. Here's what the skin graft should look like just after running through the mesher and just before it's going to be applied.